Hi, it is part two of section 5.4. The total area between the graph and the x-axis. We'll begin with examples on object movement along a line. The position as a function t, denoted by s of t, is the location of the object relative to the origin. The velocity of the object is um, s prime t. Uh, then the net change theorem says that uh, position at b minus uh, position at a is integral over uh, a to b and velocity. So uh, uh, the quantity is the displacement of the object. And distance traveled um, over uh, the time interval a to b is same as integral uh, over a to b, absolute value of velocity. The velocity uh, can be positive or negative, so that, for example, now, at time uh, uh, a, velocity positive in certain moment, and velocity becomes negative, then coming back. So that, that is position of um, here, um, uh, time is a, and that is when time is b. Then the displacement is from here to there, uh, from here to there. However, total distance traveled is now this distance plus that one. So that's the reason you have to uh, compute uh, the integral with uh, absolute value of uh, velocity. Here, now, once the velocity is positive, then uh, it is positively contributed for displacement, but if a velocity is negative, then now negatively contributed, so that here, if you measure area, if this is your area 1, there's area 2, then displacement must be a 1 minus a 2. However, if you try to measure distance traveled, then now uh, you have to, uh, here now, um, in fact, rather than for that one, you have to add them. So A1 plus A2, which is the same as you are getting integral along with uh, absolute value of velocity. So that here, absolute value of velocity will make here now on, over there, so that eventually uh, both are contributed positively. Okay. Okay. Uh, the velocity function in meters per second is given for a particle moving along a line as here. Uh, first one is find the displacement, and second one is the distance traveled. Okay. Now, simple, uh, the just displacement is yeah, just integral uh, for the velocity. So that is same as integral uh, now from 2 to 4 uh, velocity. So that is the same as integral from 2 to 4. Now that is t squared minus 2t minus 3 and dt. So here antiderivative is one third of t cubed minus t squared and minus 3t. And we are evaluating from uh, 2 to 4, from here 2 to 4. So you can get it quite uh, easily. OK, here, now we want to get the distance traveled. So uh, first we have to uh, consider v prime, mm, uh, I mean v absolute value, so we have to find the point where v is zero, okay? 
So V equals zero is now T squared minus two T minus three equals zero. And that is T T mm, mm, the separation and that is now one and three that is minus and plus. So here T is minus one and now that is three. So at three the value is changing. So pictorially, right now, velocity uh, is given in this way. Here we have from 2 to 4, and here minus 1 is a 0, and 3 is a 0. So here, going down, and from, okay, it is down here, and, but however, we are considering only 2 to 4, so to go down, so start coming up, and from here, now passing this one, and like that. So from 2 to 3, the velocity is negative, and from 3 to 4, velocity is positive. Okay, now here, so that integral 2 to 4, velocity absolute value, is the same as now integral, okay, from 2 to 3, and that is minus velocity, and so the absolute value will be minus velocity, and plus integral 3 to 4, that is here, uh, of velocity. So we reorganize it, okay, for this one, by changing lower bound, upper bound, exchanging mm, this two one, so that that can be written 3 to 2 V plus now here, okay, that's 3 to 4 or V. So if you are um, trying to get the quantity, then you can get one antiderivative for V and, okay, let's try to write down here. Already we know that that is one third of uh, t cubed minus t squared and minus uh, uh, 3t. And we evaluate and positively yeah, 2 and 4 and negatively 3 and 3. So that means that here for that one, you can evaluate, evaluate the value at 2 and if you evaluate at 4 and now subtract twice of evaluation at 3. And mm, here, so rather than uh, try to get minus V and antiderivative and V and antiderivative, rather than that, by using only one V antiderivative, you are evaluating uh, here for this one at two positions and also at two positions. But in fact, one position and the twice of the value uh, subtraction, then you can get the value. You can uh, do it yourself quite simply. Okay. Okay. Total area. The figure shows the graph of the function f(x) called sine x from zero to two pi. Okay. Now. Compute the definite integral of f over 0 to 2 pi. If you do that, right, then okay, integral from 0 to 2 pi and uh, sine x. And that one, uh, antiderivative is minus cosine x. And here, 0 to 2 pi. Cosine x, x is, uh, has period 2 pi so that at 2 pi, uh, the value is here, uh, that is minus 1, and at 0, in fact, at 2 pi, uh, cosine x is 1, at 0, and cosine is, is 0, so that 0 minus 0 is 0. Uh, in fact, 1 and 1, so that it is 0. And here, pictorially, now this portion is contributing positively uh, for the area, and this portion is now uh, uh, here negatively contributed for the definite integral. 
and here now part b we want to find the area between y equals sine x and the x axis over 0 to 2 pi if it is asking along with area then you have to get the area separately and here you have to contribute uh, each portion positively so that that is like uh, here um, in this case the distance traveled okay and if you are asked to find the definite integral then that is a simple uh, integration so that once the value of function is negative then uh, the area uh, the portion is contributing negative value Okay, but once it is asked the area between curve and x-axis, then you have to find uh, each portion and uh, everything must be contributed positively. So here, that is the same as so now integral from 0 to 2 pi, now sine x absolute value between 0 and pi it is positive and between pi to uh, uh, 2 pi it is negative so you can write in this one in this way 0 to pi that is a sine x and plus integral pi to 2 pi minus a sine x right. okay if we are using that technique then it can be written in this way. Uh, that is uh, here, integral 0 to pi is one thing. Another one is now mm, change the lower and upper bound so that that is now same as here 2 pi and uh, uh, that is here now pi. And then uh, mm, that is now uh, sine x dx okay but uh, that is um, so that this is sa same as minus cosine x and then and pi and pi and that is a 0 and 2 pi right okay here for that one cosine pi is minus 1 so that along with that minus that is um, uh, 1 and one more time over pi and here minus and then now at 0 is minus 1 at 2 pi again minus 1 so that is minus 2 so that eventually that is 4 right? uh, so uh, the final answer is 4 uh, this one First, two, that 2 is coming from here, from 0 to pi. Uh, sine x integration is 2. And now, second one is the original value is minus. However, because uh, we are trying to get absolute value of the in integral of the absolute value, so that we have a minus, so that is positively contributed, so that the final answer becomes 4. Okay? Okay, here we have a strategy to find the area between the graph of y equals fx and the x-axis over the interval ab. Uh, we have to uh, divide the interval uh, with uh, zeros over f and integrate f over each subinterval and add the absolute value of the integrals. So we have to contribute positively. Okay, let's solve this uh, problem. Find the area of region between the x-axis and the graph of here f. Okay, so first we have to subdivide the interval minus 1 to 2 uh, with uh, zeros of um, uh, f. So let's try to find the zeros of f. f is now uh, factoring out x is common and that is x squared minus x minus 2 
this one is x axis separation and 1 and 2, then it's minus, and then it's plus. So that f of x is the same as x, and x plus 1, and x minus 2. So once it is 0, then here now x must be 0 and minus 1 and 2. Okay, minus 1 and 2 are uh, the edge points, and, and here 0 uh, is another 0. So pictorially, f can be um, explained in this way. That is from uh, here, minus 1, 2, 2. Now, here the value is 0, here the value is 0, value is 0, so that now it is coming up, okay, this way, coming up and go down, and then again go up like that. So to find the area, we have to find this portion, the area of this portion, and uh, we have to contribute to them positively, uh, along with the absolute value this side. Okay. Now here, so that uh, the area equal uh, integral minus one, minus 1 to the 0 of f, and plus integral from 0 to 2 and minus f. Okay, that is same as now, okay, integral minus 1 to 0 and, and plus here 2 to 0 and of f. Okay, so we have here antiderivative of f is now here 1 fourth of x to the 4 minus 1 third of now x cubed and minus x squared. And here we have to evaluate 0, 0 on top and on the bottom minus 1 and 2. Okay. Then uh, uh, we can get it. Okay, so that here now, uh, here once it's 0, then 0. Okay, so the 0 minus, okay, you have to put here the value at minus 1, that is 1 fourth plus 1 third, and now minus 1. And again, at 2, you have to subtract. Okay, it's minus 1, that's 1 fourth, and plus 1 third, and okay, that is minus 1. At 2, that is 16, so that, that is 4, and it's, it's 2, then that is 8, so that that is minus 8 over 3, and now uh, it's 2, then it's minus 4. So if you simplify, then you can get the answer, and practically that is uh, 37 over 12. Okay, uh, find the area of the shade region. Okay, we have to find this area, area A. Now, uh, however, uh, that is now between this curve and y equal 2. So you can get the area. However, now in this rectangle area is now 2 pi is bottom length is pi and height is 2, so 2 pi. And from 2 pi, you may subtract the area uh, here, that area. Okay, so that can be gotten from 0 to uh, pi, and y is 1 plus cosine x uh, dx. Okay. Now, for that one, here, for constant, length is pi, so it is pi. And cosine x from 0 to pi, cosine x is halfly positive and halfly negative. Uh, we recall here, cosine function, that is uh, positive and negative. Here we have that is pi, so that in here, this one are the same, 
but uh, negative each other so that uh, here integration of a cosine from 0 to pi must be 0 so you may ignore that so that is pi so here the area what we want to find is 2 pi minus pi that area is pi now so that the final answer is pi okay okay that's the end of the section thank you